All righty there, folks. Let's talk about the Tito-Stalin split, also known as the Yugoslav-Soviet split between these two men down here in the bottom of your screen, Tito and Stalin, okay? Those two uh, men who are gonna have some personality differences, which is going to lead uh, to really the breakdown between the two uh, largest and possibly the two most powerful communist countries in the world at this time, okay? Now, uh, as a result of the split, Yugoslavia is going to be removed from the Communist Information Bureau in 1848. Now, the Communist Information Bureau is more commonly known as Common Form, okay, which is the Information Bureau of the Communist and Workers' Party. So this uh, organization of different communist Soviet uh, ally states, uh, different communist uh, countries from around the world really working together uh, as a way of kind of having some form of unity. It's gonna be formed in 1947, as we've talked about, uh, and it's gonna be abolished in 1956 after Stalin uh, kicks the bucket and dies. Uh, but right away, Yugoslavia is kicked out of that from the get-go because uh, of the split between Tito and Stalin. Uh, now, originally though, as we're talking about, okay, uh, when these countries get together, they're gonna form an alliance, okay? They're gonna form an alliance of this Marxist-Leninist policies. Uh, realize this is right after World War II. Uh, it is very, very crucial if the communists want to keep in power and try to export the revolution, which is really the goal of any communist country to export the revolution to form or other communists or other countries around the world and turn them communist, you've got to have some form of an alliance. Uh, so this alliance of Marxist-Leninist parties is going to happen, a uh, common form is going to happen, but then Tito and Stalin are going to break up. Uh, this organization, Kate, was formed and led by the USSR, the um, common form. Uh, so as a result of that, if Stalin wants to kick you out, Stalin can kick you out because because he's Stalin, okay? Now, uh, in order to talk about this, we got to understand the background a little bit of Joseph Broz Tito, which is this man right here. He is the communist leader of Yugoslavia, uh, and Tito was not loyal to the USSR at all. He is nationalistic towards Yugoslavia, okay? He is proud to be uh, from the Balkan. He is Slavic, and he um, is proud of that fact. He is a Yugoslav. He is not a Soviet. Um, and he refuses uh, to become a satellite state of the USSR. He views that he uh, himself can lead this group of people in southern, the southern Slav area, uh, the Balkan area. He can do it. He does not need Stalin. He's not going to be bossed around by Stalin. He is going to do this on his own. Now, it's also important to understand at this time, Greece is involved in a massive civil war. And the Greek civil war is an incredibly confusing um, conflict to talk about because you've got different sides that are fighting together than fighting apart. Uh, but the important thing to understand there is there is communist revolutionaries going on there. Stalin is going to keep his distance from Greece. Uh, the West was particularly interested in what's going on in Greece to make sure that Greece does not fall uh, to communism. So they're going to kind of be involved in this situation to a point. Stalin is going to keep his distance. He's not going to get involved. He's just kind of going to let things play out. Tito, however, is going to actively support the communists in Greece. Um, he's going to send troops to Albania as a way of stopping this revolution from spreading any farther um, because he realizes this could be a threat to what is going on in Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is coming out of World War II where they were occupied by the Nazis. Um, so they're kind of trying to rebuild their country right now and this could be a threat. They're not ready for this. So he's going to send troops down to Albania, which is near the Greek border, uh, to make sure that this does not spread. Stalin is angry about this. Stalin's not angry that he sent troops. Stalin is angry that he sent troops without telling Stalin. Um, Stalin, as we kind of already know, is the one who wants to be in charge. Okay, Stalin uh, has this kind of personality and ego, as a lot of good dictators do, where he's talking about that he is in charge, he's going to do what he is wanting to do. Now, Bulgaria is where everything is going to kind of really break. Okay, Bulgaria, uh, a southern Slavic country located next to Turkey. Tito wants to merge with Bulgaria. He wants to create the land of the South Slavs. Um, he goes and he talks to Bulgaria, and he does not talk to Stalin. Again, this is another time where Stalin is not consulted. Stalin sees himself as the leader of communist world, and he is very upset that another communist is talking to another communist country as a way of trying to kind of go behind his back is how Stalin feels about this. And Stalin, he is not happy. Stalin viewed Tito as not a true communist, um, and Tito feels the exact same way about Stalin. There is no denying that these two men did not like each other in the slightest little bit, okay? Stalin dislikes virtually everything Tito is doing. He's not a true communist. He's not good. We can't trust Tito. He's a poor communist. I'm a true communist. Tito's saying the same kind of thing. Stalin is not a communist. Stalin does this. Stalin does this. You can't trust Stalin. You can trust me. 
so Tito kind of wants to be his own uh, leader of the Soviet commun- or the communist world. Stalin really wants to do the same kind of thing. So Stalin uh, is going to respond, okay, the strain is going to kick Yugoslavia out of the international communist community. So basically it's like, you guys can do what you want. You're not a part of us, okay? You're your own communist country, but you're not really communist according to Stalin. So just do your own thing. Us true communists will keep doing what we're going to be doing. Now this is going to cause Yugoslavia to be one of the leading members of the non-aligned movement. This is a group of countries um, that are not aligned with the United States or the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Now, you would think that uh, Yugoslavia would be aligned with the Soviet Union because of their both communist countries, but that is simply not going to be the case. And uh, relations between Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union are going to improve after Stalin's death, but they're never totally going to be normalized. This relationship that once was will never be rekindled. That is all for now. If you have questions, comments, put it down below. Otherwise, good luck.